will gather around my bros because I've got a tale to tell about our dear playboy Cardi, the self-proclaimed rap messiah. Now you might be thinking, oh, digital monk, Cardi's a saint, a vampire genius. But hold your horses because I'm not here to discuss the time he tried to make a lullaby for his pregnant girlfriend, but putting the beats like Jake Paul. Today's the day we delve into the absurdity of why I think Cardi might just be the world's most accomplished fibber and brace yourselves, he's on the brink of retirement. But before we jump into the deep end of Cardi's career, let's rewind to the time when we were all waiting for a new album. And oh boy, were we in for a surprise. Cardi's rap journey began in 2011 as Sir Cartier, but he quickly realized that being a fancy gentleman wasn't his style, so he rebranded as Playboy Cardi in 2013. And he kicked off his career on the SoundCloud scene where he dropped tracks that started turning heats. Then in 2014, Destiny rang the doorbell in the form of producer Ethereal, who became Carti's sound wizard. Seeing potential in his music, Carti packed his bags and heated to New York, where he crashed at his friendly neighborhood drug dealer's place. As luck would have it, mob members were regulars there, and Cardi crossed paths with Bari, who introduced him to the legendary Rocky. Rocky must have sensed something special because he invited Cardi to roll with the ASAP crew to Texas. In 2015, Cardi set the rap world on fire with hits like Broke Boy and Fetty. He became the go-to collaborator in Atlanta's underground rap scene cooking up tracks with artists like Lil Yachty, Uno the Activist, and more, while working with top producers like Mexico Dro and Icy Twat. His hard work paid off when he hit the road with ASAP Ferg and Lil Uzi Vert, leading to a deal with Interscope Records. And just to add a cherry on top, he made a cameo on Bob's track Telephone Calls in 2016. To cap it all off, Cardi joined the ranks of AWG Imprint, solidifying his place in the crew. Cardi's debut mixtape in April 2017, it was a certified banger on God XXL Pitchfork, and even your grandma's knitting club were talking about it. It even hit number 12 on the Billboard 200 chart. The mixtape delivered killer singles like Magnolia, number 29 on Billboard Hot 100, and Woke Up Like This, number 76, making Cardi hotter than a jalapeno in July 4th of Canada. Then he teamed up with Gucci Mane and Dreezy for a tour. Then he joined the XXL freshman class of 2017, alongside the likes of XX Temptation, A A Boogie With Da Hoodie, and Ugly God. Speaking of Ugly God, his booty tape was fire but Baby No Money and Young Gravy took the booty lane and ran with it with comedy-style rap music. Cardi kept the hits coming with features on. Then in May 2018, Cardi unleashed his debut album, Die Lit, reaching uh, number three on the Billboard 200. With Cardi being Cardi, he announced his second studio album, Whole Lot of Red, in August 2018. And, um... Small detail, it didn't drop until a painful two years later. Cardi's been crashing parties left and right in the vampire world. In June 2021, he pulled a tag team move with Pierre Bourne and Lil One on switching lanes in Homic Side. Cardi was like the surprise guest who steals the show. Then come August 2021, Cardi kept the party going. He showed up on Abra's Unlock It and crashed Kanye West's album Donda on tracks like Off the Grid and Junya. On Christmas Day 2022, he popped back on Twitter after a year of silence, hinting at new music. It's like he's our Santa Claus, delivering gifts in the form of tracks. Fast forward to March 3rd, 2023, Cardi hit the stage at Rolling Loud, California, unveiling an unreleased track called Rockstar. It was a sneak peek into his upcoming album, and fans were losing their cool. And just when you thought that was it, Cardi triumphantly returned to Instagram on May 28, 2023, after a December 2022 arrest. He teased a collab with The Weeknd and Madonna, dropping popular on June 2, 2023. 
It's like a superstar team up we've all been waiting for. On June 12th, 2023, Cardi posted a pic of Young Boy Never Broke Again rocking an upside down cross chain, hinting at a collab album titled 004KT. The excitement was off the charts, like we stumbled upon a secret society of greatness in the form of a vamp. More late August 2023. Playboy Cardi ends up pushing back his tour dates for the antagonist tour with members of Opium and leaving us with no album at all.